All right, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, an unboxing. Now, I've actually used one of these before. This is, uh, it's um, a thermal cooker. Now, uh, a friend lent me one of these. Um, she lent me hers um, that she got from Aldi. Um, I'm not sure how long ago she got hers, but um, she's used it heaps. A thermal cooker is, um, well, in at least this one, it's uh, a pot that you, hey Ollie, that you start um, something cooking on, on the heat, like, you know, your electric stove or your gas cooker or whatever. And uh, then you bring it to the boil and then, um, like for instance, if it's a stew or something, you then put everything inside its sort of thermal container and then the residual heat from starting it to cook um, then continues to cook it over the rest of the day or overnight or however it is that you use it. Um, so this is pretty awesome. So she lent me hers, which was so cool. And uh, on our big camping trip, I used it a fair bit. Um, now I've been waiting and waiting for Aldi to get theirs back in again um, because they often do these things, you know, once a year. And uh, finally today it's in. Woohoo! So I managed to get one. There were only like, um, I don't know how many there were to start with, but when I got there, there were, I think four or five left. So I grabbed one for sure. And I think I convinced someone who was standing in the, um, in the uh, queue for their shopping to go get one as well, because he was asking me about it. All right, let's do this. Now the difference with this one and the one my friend lent me is this one has um, an AC-DC adapter. It's got like 12 volts slash um, 24 volts. So that's that's new. Uh, I don't know if last year's had this because I'm not sure if my friend bought hers last, year's, last year or the year before. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So I, all I've done so far is um, got rid of the sticky tape at the top. So um, you and me both, we're doing this together. First time. <clears throat> all right oh and also this one has a um cover i don't know if my friends came with the cover she didn't lend it to me if it did or maybe they lost it i don't know um probably not because they seem to look after their stuff pretty well but uh yeah this cover's a bit new I know there's a whole lot of you who are going to get frustrated at me opening this so carefully, but I try to um, I try to reuse the plastic bags for other things so that they're not completely wasted. So I try not to rip a hole in them. All right, I'm going to put this up a little bit. Excuse the squeak. Squeaky, squeaky, squeak. All right, what have we got here? This protective slash thermal bag. Branded Adventure Ridge, of course, because that's the uh, Aldi brand of um, camping gear. Silvery, plasticky stuff. It's a bit padded. It feels just like that, um, that, uh, that sort of flexible polystyrene stuff which I guess is, you know, that's fairly standard for a cheap sort of esky style bag. Seems quality enough. Uh, the top has a double zip, so that's good. And the strap has a little um, shoulder pad thing. I This is kind of handy. I'm happy with this because um, it means I can put it over my shoulder if I need to carry it out to the car or something and I've still got a spare hand to carry other stuff. So that's good. All right, here we go, the pot. I'm gonna put this on top so you can see it a bit better. Very shiny and new. This is exciting. Got the stickers on top, warning, the inner cooking pot must be placed over a stove or open flame for 20 minutes before placing into the thermal cooker. The adapter is used only if you wish to extend the warming time. 
using the adapter without placing the cooking pot on the stove or open flame will not cook the food properly. All right, so there we go. So the uh, adapter is basically to help keep it warm for longer. I did wonder about that um, because I hadn't seen it with like an adapter thing I so before and I wasn't sure how it would work. Do not place the appliance on your car seat during operation as it may cause damages to your seat covering such as leather or fabric. What, because it gets warm? Don't know. All right, we have a little, just a little uh, clip here. That's That wasn't on the previous one. So I guess that holds the lid shut. The previous one had a locking mechanism, the one that I borrowed that is, had a locking mechanism on the um, handle. So if you had the handle back, um, it was just, it would open freely. If you had the handle forward, uh, there was sort of little lugs on the inside of that um, where the hinge is and it wouldn't open, but this one has its own little latch, which, um, I don't know, seems steady. <clears throat> because, you know, with with Ali stuff, it's a bit hit and miss. Often, like I'd say 80 to 90% of the time, their stuff is really good. Um, some people have bought Aldi stuff and um, they buy one and it's broken out of the box or just doesn't work very well. And uh, then they get another one and it still sucks. Um, whereas other people who've bought the same thing will um, go, no, I've had one for ages and it's, it's been a rock star. So yeah, you sort of, you'd never know what you're gonna get. The lid for all of the pots on top. Um, it's one lid that goes on top of everything. And then under that, oh, it's the cable. There we go. Right. I'm not going to try and open this one without breaking the plastic. Or maybe I am. Here we go. So, yeah, this is just the cable. <clears throat> um, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Woo that's good. I thought it said it was 12 or 24 volts. Maybe I was wrong. What was it say on the side? ACDC adapters, plural. So maybe there's another one underneath. I made sure I got one that wasn't opened so that it had all the pieces. Ah, there we go. There's the other one on the side. All right, so this is the hot pot. Um, this is the one that sits in the top. So you can do two two parts to your cooking. So um, there's a bigger pot on the inside, which is this one. <coughs> and then you can put like your big stew or your soup or whatever it is that you're cooking in there. And then you can have a second part. So if you've got uh, maybe like a curry with rice, you can cook rice in the top part. And then the whole thing goes in there, the lid goes on top, and then you leave it to use the residual heat to cook with. Um, I found it was fantastic when I was camping. And um, when I wasn't using it, when I was sort of settled in one place for a while and I had sort of meals already to go for the night and stuff and I didn't need to sort of leave anything cooking for the day, um, it was great for extra water storage and, and carrying water around. All right, so that comes out there. Let's look at this other thing. I've got fingerprints all over it already. It's so shiny and new. All right, what do we got? So let's just put that in there for now. And I guess this is the 240 volt adapter. Um. You know, even if that heating thing doesn't work, I was thinking to myself after I bought this and brought it home this morning, even if the heating thing doesn't work, um, I'm okay with that because um, as long as those inner pots, I mean, the, the inner pots are literally just pots and as long as I've got my camping stove, I can start things cooking on that and then use the residual heat to keep them cooking. So I suppose the, um, the adapters are great if I want to keep something warm for longer. Um, but honestly, that's, it's just a surprise bonus. I guess it's a bonus um, cord to go into the wall and or inverter. And this 
is the other end of that cord and um, that plugs into the back of this I guess. I don't actually know where it plugs in. Oh, here we go, this side. Plugs in on that side and it's got a little light. Always unplug after use. Thank you, I will. Uh, <coughs> all right, I guess that's it. That is, that. I mean, it's pretty simple. It really is quite simple. And I just love the concept of it because um, it's great for uh, saving on gas. Um, if you're cooking with gas and you've got something that takes a long time to cook, um, why don't I raise this up a bit? Yeah, if you've got something that takes a long time to cook, um, you're using gas that whole time. Um, so that's a lot of gas to use. So it means you're less limited when you're cooking, when you're camping, because you can cook the sort of things that you might be more likely to cook at home when you're not sort of limited with uh, uh, how much gas you've got or um, electricity, depending on what, what you're set up with. Um, then we'll cook a recipe guide. That seems to be the only other thing that's in there, which might be handy. I don't know. Have a look at that later. That's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm stoked I got it. <laughs> you never know if you're going to be able to grab something at Aldi because they've always got such limited stock. I went in at a bit after nine. They open at eight. Um, they may have had more to start with, but there were enough left when I got there. So stoked with that. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Before we go. I'm going to demonstrate putting it in here. Lower this again. There we go. Let's see how nicely it fits. Um, even though I wasn't expecting one of these um, bags, it's going to be handy for making sure it doesn't get all scratched up. Not that it matters, because even if it's scratched, it's still going to work. Where does the handle go? Oh, I think I need to put... Okay, well, that's awkward, the handle doesn't fit terribly well inside this. <laughs> what do you do with the handle? So where the hell is the handle meant to go when you close this up? All right, all right, here we go, here we go. You just kinda, if you shove it at the back a bit, it does fit. It's awkward, there we go. That's good, that'll uh, keep it dust free as well and keep gross bugs out of it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. That's my unboxing of the Aldi Thermal Pot. Um, like and subscribe if you would. Leave a comment if you want to ask about anything. Make a comment on these, ask how they work, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.